Ladies and gentlemen, Trey is in the bay. How does that sound? Sounds good to me. It sounds pretty good to him and it sounds good to a lot of the 49ers faithful. Welcome to the family. If you have not heard it, let me tell you that again. But before we get started with this interview, like let's just take a moment, just kind of look around. What, what, do you, what do you kind of think of your new digs now? It's pretty cool, uh, kind of it's surreal, definitely just being able to see obviously my name and everything and, and not only that, but just like the stadium and this whole facility is, is really special. I want to jump back 24 hours. Yesterday, you're sitting in the room and you're surrounded by your family and your friends and your loved ones. You get that call, Kyle Shanahan, John Lynch, Jed York on the phone saying that they want you to be the next member of the San Francisco 49ers. Just play that, that time back in your mind for me. Tell me a little bit about that, what was going through your mind and how are you feeling? Yeah, it was uh, exciting and pretty emotional for me. Uh, but like you said, just being able to be around my family, I think made it that much more special. Um, and, and them wanting me and being able to pick me, I was I gave them a hard time just because they waited until it was like a minute left on, on the clock um, to call me. And I, in my head, I was, you know, would have been disappointed for sure because I, I knew this is where I wanted to be uh, and where I thought I would, you know, have a shot at ending up. But uh, just super thankful that I'm here. Okay, so waiting to literally, because we're all watching TV, so we're seeing the clock roll down. So when it's getting to that final minute, like, are you getting a little anxious? Like, all right, what's going on? I haven't heard anything. Yeah, for sure. Like, I'm in there sweating, you know, like everyone else is in there, like, you know, trying not to look at me, but trying to look at me at the same time uh, and figure out what's going on. For, I'm sure everyone was a little tense before I got that call. <laughs> I believe it. But let's talk about now this last 24 hours. You were in Cleveland literally just a day ago. Now you're here at Levi Stadium. Tell me about that whole transition to here. How was this experience so far? It was awesome. I got, I got to spend some time with family last night. Um, woke up this morning and, and hopped on the plane and, and touched down. I was super excited. Um, the weather, everything, just being out in California. Uh, I'm super excited to, to get to know the community, get familiar with the area, um, and get to know my teammates. So has it all settled in for you yet? I think a little bit, it's getting there. Um, I, I, don't, I haven't really slept yet other than on the plane, um, but but I'm definitely excited. I think I'm still gonna be excited for, for probably the next few weeks until I can move out here. <laughs> so you come into the 49ers with a really un a unique position. You think about it, teams that are picking in the top three typically might not have that strong of a roster, but the 49ers have a roster that's pretty much set. You look at the pieces they have on offense and what they have on defense, but I just wanna ask you, what do you know about maybe some of these pieces that are already in house? Yeah. I know, like you said, I'm in a really unique situation. Uh, playing quarterback, not only that, but being drafted as early as I did and them trading up to draft me um, with a Super Bowl roster, really. Um, I'm super thankful to not only the coaching staff, uh, the organization for believing in me. Uh, but yeah, obviously I know a lot about it and it's hard not to, uh, whether it's the coaching staff, Coach Shanahan, um, or the players on, the, on this roster. Like I said, it's, it's a special place and I'm very fortunate to be in the position that I'm in. Well, speaking of teammates, have any reached out to you? Have you heard anything yet? What's going on over there? Yeah, Jimmy texted me and a few other guys. Um, George texted me this morning, um, so I was super excited. And then obviously those are guys that, that I've looked up to and I'm super excited to, to get to meet, um, get to know and, and learn a lot from. All right, you brought up George's name. How was that conversation with George Kittle? <laughs> He sent me a text this morning and it, he seemed pretty excited. Uh, I'll say that. Um, I know he's a high energy guy, so I'm super excited, especially him, you know, being from Iowa, playing in Iowa. Um, a lot of similar things uh, as far as what we did in college and, and what the University of Iowa does. Uh, and I know at least the little bit I do know about him. I know he's a high energy, fun guy, so I'm, I'm super excited, like I said, to learn as much as I can from him. Yeah, high energy, that's the best way to describe George Kittle. But you brought up another, another name. Jimmy Garoppolo reached out to you. Uh, you knew that when the 49ers jumped to number three, you knew they were eyeing a quarterback. Didn't necessarily know if it was you or not, but you knew they did have somebody in-house. But just considering Jimmy, what do you see out of Jimmy? What do you know about him? And how eager are you to start learning with him? Yeah, all I've heard is just awesome things about the type of person he is and obviously what he does on the field, you know, kind of speaks for itself. Uh, but it meant the world to me and my family especially uh, that he reached out to me and sent that message. Uh, it was really encouraging for me just to know that we'll be able to have an awesome relationship. Um, and, you know, I just told him I'm super excited to learn from him. I know he's going to be an awesome mentor, like I said, for me. I'm super excited to just be around him. So now I want to talk about Trey Lance, the player. Back during your time, during your college career, at some point, you were told, if I'm not mistaken, that maybe you should look a different direction instead of quarterback. Play safety or linebacker or fullback. But you ended up sticking with quarterback, which, I mean, ultimately brought you here. But tell me a little bit about what happened in that situation. Yeah, going back, I guess, to high school, uh, there was a, a few schools and most of the bigger schools, power five schools, that, that saw me as a different position, uh, safety, linebacker, receiver, like you said. 
Um, for me, it was kind of a, a quick conversation. I knew I was a quarterback at that point and, and believed in myself. Um, and obviously, you know, sitting here right now where we are, uh, very thankful that I did. Uh, and I'm not going to stop believing in myself, just the confidence that I have in myself. Uh, and me understanding that you know I wouldn't be where I am without everyone that's helped me get to this point. Looking at you and your skill set and knowing who Kyle Shanahan and what he likes to do, maybe what are some of the traits that you have that you think will make it a pretty seamless fit here in San Francisco? Uh, I think just the offense that we ran at North Dakota State, uh, whether it's you know the verbiage or, or just calling protections or whatever I did, play action, playing from under center, whatever it was, I think it would just help me and it would help me in any system. Uh, but obviously what Coach Shanahan does and, and his football mind, just a little bit I have gotten to know him, um, is special and different and I've heard it from a million people now at this point. Um, so I'm super excited to learn. Like I said, my biggest thing is, is learn from Coach Gangarillo, Coach Shanahan and Jimmy. You're finally here. The draft is now behind you. You've been prepping for this for months, but what are you looking forward to most? What are you most excited about? Yeah, it feels great to be here and get to know some people in the organization and check out the area. Uh, I'm definitely most excited to, to get here for real, uh, move here, start camp and get to know my teammates. Yeah, you'll definitely be getting to know them fairly soon with things kicking off here at Levi Stadium. Trey, welcome to the family. We're so excited to have you and looking forward to seeing more of you this year. Thank you so much. Can't wait for it.